shorten it. That's what I'm just thinking is just drop the, the beverage off of this. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Look what I've got here. This just in. Looks like we're gonna paint those windows black over there too. This is a guest you really like. Yeah. yeah. Floors. Look at this floor. Can we just talk about the floor? <laughs> I'm good at this. <laughs> Okay, this, this woman literally like can put a book <laughs> on a table like no one I've ever seen. <laughs> oh wow! I know, I feel like I should be crying, but yeah, we don't have we'll, to we'll, we'll, we'll add that in. Some projects take us two days to complete and some projects take us two years. We've been working on the Otis Building with Ty Pennington for two years. We can't wait to give you a full tour, come on. Once you step inside, you'll see that this is an incredible historical building. The Otis Building is located in Castleberry Hill, which is a historically recognized district of Atlanta. It's an area that's known for historical factories and grocers and cotton mills. So we have these amazing, beautiful brick buildings that are here. And as we designed the entire building, we wanted to make sure that we really, it had the sense of the neighborhood and it was in its place. But we also wanted to create something that was a little bit modern and a little bit forward facing. So we have two retail spaces and eight homes here. And today we're gonna to be giving you a tour of the penthouse suite that we've styled up. We're gonna start with the living room and give you a full tour of the entire space and I think you're going to absolutely love it. So make sure you hit subscribe, give the video a thumbs up if you love it and also be sure to check out the entire playlist because we're gonna be sharing all the details of the space and all the rooms and I I just know I just am convinced that you're going to absolutely love it because we have been totally blown away we've got an elevator up to the third floor to our own penthouse suite let's go I can't wait to start the tour I can't wait come on Well, good morning, you guys. <laughs> it is actually not that early in the morning, and the reason why is because the moving truck that we have hired to get everything from here down to the Otis building broke down. Thankfully, it broke down before we loaded it. <laughs> so today is going to be a very exciting day, and we are off to a fabulous start. So uh, I've got my land in here and it's just going to be, it's a little bit of uh, a, it's going to be a crazy day. We've got my sister son Lucas here. We were supposed to be doing the project in, in uh, May, June <laughs> and we've gotten delayed a little bit. And so now a lot of the people that were going to be helping us are back in school or back at work. And so we've got a crew of uh, a bunch of scraggly teenage boys that are going to be helping us move a bunch of stuff. We've got the movers that are actually going to bring a lot of the furniture in. And so it's going to be a very busy day. And I did not sleep. I'm like, I can see the bags under my eyes. I'm like, I did not sleep. It's like Christmas. <laughs> It is literally gonna be like Christmas. We get to open all the boxes, we get all the furniture, and it is going to be an amazing day. So we are very excited. But the funny thing is, is uh, right now, I can show you uh, at the moment, everybody is sitting calmly on their devices. <laughs> and I'm talking. So it's the calm before the storm and it's gonna be a great day. So we're excited to take you on this journey of getting the Otis building done. I mean, Ty Pennington gave us the penthouse. Wow, I mean, of all the ones to have and he gave us the one with the best view. So it's just gonna be a great day. Ty Pennington gave us the penthouse suite, yes. We're gonna have so much fun. I cannot wait to get down there. I'm so ready to go and we're just waiting on the moving truck. All right, here we go. Got Top Dog moving, coming to the rescue. Very excited about that. And uh, ready to get this party started. We are off. I'm like, I look like I was moving <laughs> stuff. <laughs> 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 no, because they actually did a great job, got everything packed up really well for us. And so we are now off. I've got the two boys with me for now. And then Parker and his buddies will also be joining us in a bit, plus the movers. And my mom is going to be there. And unfortunately, Ty is not in town. He is off filming. So hopefully we are going to catch up with him maybe on Monday. So we've got a couple days to get it all ready for him and hopefully give him a really fun surprise. I don't know if he's ever had 
someone do that for him. He's always been the revealer, yeah. not the revealee, so. Huh, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. We'll see if we can actually wrangle him in a bit and actually uh, get to That'd see him in fun. person because he's super busy and he doesn't live in Atlanta, so it's a special trip to come up. So, um, yeah, so we're excited. We're excited! <laughs> one step down, nine billion more to go before yeah, exactly. we can do a reveal, but you know, it's one step at a time. That's how we do this. All right, you guys, we are here, and you can see through there, Ty Pennington's, uh, his unit over there, which he has staged, and now we have an entire unit to do, and I'm gonna turn you around and give you a full empty tour, so then you can see it completely transformed. We have got so much work to do, and we've already, the guys are already bringing stuff up. Like, it's just happening. We're just going for it. All right, well, here we go. We have got the gorgeous kitchen. You can see I've already brought a couple candles up. <laughs> I love having the wood. And then we've got the light and these gorgeous pendants in here. And this is one of my favorite surfaces. It's a, a honed granite. It's so chalky and yummy. And then over here, we've got the uh, cooler. We've got the microwave, got tons of storage, pantry. You can see we've got random stuff that the boys are just bringing in for us. And then when you come in, you've also got this amazing entry that leads up to an incredible area that even has a rooftop. So we're gonna get to see all of that. You've got the entry here. Ty has a few things that were left over from his unit. So I've got a couple pieces that I'll probably be incorporating into my own. You can see Article has sent us a ton of furniture and you're gonna be seeing Castlery today as well. And then we've got the black fireplace, yay! <laughs> That's right, yes. Got our guest bedroom, which is actually quite big. And what's fun is that you really can't tell the difference between what is original brick and what has been put in. Pretty amazing stuff. We've worked very hard. Also, look at these floors. Original factory flooring that I was able to source for us. We've got some closets. They're all waiting our attention. Look at this, gorgeous bathroom. And yeah, look at this. This is the primary suite. Yet again, just absolutely gorgeous. And I'm just giving you a quick run through because I just wanted you to see it empty and then we'll see it all filled up again. And then look at this closet of dreams. And then look at this bathroom. Oh my word, your eyes do not deceive you. It is humongous, humongous. Look at that shower. Fun, that's all I have to say. Somebody is gonna have a lot of fun in that shower. <laughs> and then we've got the double vanity here with those gorgeous pill-shaped lights. And guys, I'm gonna be sharing all of the sources with you for all this stuff because I helped pick it all out. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is like Christmas times a thousand. <laughs> and then we've got this gorgeous area with the wet bar and I've got a beautiful sofa and chairs and I've got a desk for up here as well. So this is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have a blast staging this one up. Wow. I cannot believe in about five minutes time I've given you the full tour, but save the best for last. Look at this outdoor space. I mean, wow, look at that space. You've got an incredible view up here. It's really fun. Then you've got the Mercedes-Benz Stadium and that incredible view. So, so there you go. That is the very quick run through so you can see it empty and all the stuff piling in. We're gonna be working our tushies off, unpacking, assembling, styling. I'm in heaven. Can you tell? I am in heaven. I am so excited to see it all come together. We've been working on this project for over two years, so it's a really big deal to take it from empty shell, just having walls on the side, to this. What a moment. What 
a moment. It's incredible. So it is about 90 degrees outside. So it has, it has cooled off in Atlanta, if you can believe that. That is the cool weather. But uh, in here, AC is just pumping. And I am so excited. Let's go time. It's go time. It's go time. OK. <laughs> I don't do that in front of the boys, just for you guys. <laughs> oh, Dad, cool. So all these boys down here. Too. <laughs> this is such a big day! It's a huge, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Oh, my gosh. oh my gosh! Two years in coming! We've got some gorgeous art pieces that we found at Home Goods. All right, you ready? Yep. Let's uh, put some lights on this baby. <laughs> the sofa is gorgeous. I mean, it's just absolutely breathtaking. This is from Castlery. And uh, assembly is simply screwing on the legs. I mean, how great is that? So, wow. Uh, Whoa! Oh, we don't need the oh, wow! Oh, really cool. <sighs> it's so soft. I want this for our own house. Oh, that's a good idea. I like that. And we have the TV is really high. <laughs> this is stunning. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's like Christmas! No one's as enthusiastic as I am. <laughs> okay, let's open that one up next. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, woo woo! Good thing I brought the muscle today. Look at these boys. Landon's out there uh, breaking down boxes, and Lucas, I just totally got a butt shot of you. <laughs> like it? Your mom will kill me if I put that on the video. <laughs> But it's gonna kill you if there's nothing there. <laughs> oh, you gotta move it to the left a little bit. It's not quite centered. That way? Uh, that yeah, yeah, yeah. Dylan, you gonna break it on the stool? Probably. <laughs> Perfectly fine. I doubt it. It doesn't look. Oh, that's irrelevant. <laughs> Looks are irrelevant. It's all the. It's, it's all about the inside that matters. Don't let anyone sit on it. <laughs> it's probably true. Maybe we should sign the ones that you built so we know which ones. I'm <laughs> Good morning. Morning. <laughs> Lucas in the car. We got Yaya and we've got our Lucas with us today. Jack is driving in a separate car with Parker and Landon is staying home with Haley and she is helping him with his school project. So thankfully everybody's where they need to be today. <laughs> but we're going to have a good day. We got so much done yesterday. Uh, everything's out of the boxes, but we have a lot to finish today. But we're excited! Yes, this is fun. And you get to see it for the first time. <laughs> I know, I haven't been in there before. But I'm not going to give you guys too many sneak peeks because it's very close to finished. And so I, I'm going to give you little sneak peeks today. But um, we're going to be sharing lots of hacks and all that kind of stuff coming up. So make sure you're a subscriber. And um, shall we hit the road? I think we're ready. I usually say hit the road, Jack, but he's not here. So hit the road, <laughs> Mom. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we either need to have like big art piece here and then we've got art that needs to go here. So it's either going to be a collage on this wall. A collage would be pretty too. I just like big art. I like big art and I can't not fight. <laughs> They're going to make it in the video. <laughs> One, two, three. <gasps> when I have enough stuff. <laughs> I was told that I am far, far gone because I don't want to go to Target. Might need to get a medic. <laughs> Not more, more, more to your emergency. My aunt doesn't want to go to Target. All right, we're sending out all our units. Send the respirator. <laughs> all right, Yaya, what do you think? After all your work, putting the black in, what do we think? Should we go lighter with the art frame? Artwork. No, oh, I like what you have there. Oh, wow. So much for the excitement. <laughs> Deflated! <laughs> Deflated! Did you catch the drama? I like it. The you like the black? Yeah, I do. Because yeah, it pulls the work. black from the nightstands. Okay, well, then does it go with the artwork? Yeah, because it's black, it's lighter, gray, and black go together. Okay. I see you just paint over it. Gray. Oh, no. Oh, Lord, no. <laughs> are you kidding? No. <sighs> well, we are on the way home. <laughs> it's just the two of us now. 
send everybody else home a little bit earlier after we got done with all the stuff that we could have them help us with. So we uh, had them vacuuming and wiping things down and steaming and uh, thankfully, we, I don't think we built anything today, did we? We really had that nailed down on that first day. Had yeah. everything assembled, every almost everything in its place, and then today truly was putting in all the art and really just setting all the accessories. Right. And felt like we were at the Louvre hanging art. Like that's <laughs> how much we hung. Today. We hung so much art today, and yeah. that oh my goodness, it was fun. Art we day. left it looking so beautiful. You took art to a different level in this house. Yeah, Decenio, man. Else. Decenio hooked us up with some amazing yeah. prints. And then we also created some of our own artwork. And I'm just telling you, I can't wait. I can't wait to come back tomorrow. We're going to bring some greenery. And I think that's about it. I think that's all we need to finish it. We, we want to put some things in the vases. And then we're going to give you an entire tour of the entire place. Anyways, all right. Target. <laughs> Home. Home. Bed. Bed. <laughs> I can't even think straight anymore. All right, I gotta go. <laughs> Bye, guys. A black door is probably a sign of a beginning of a great tour, so let's go on inside and check out Unit 302 Penthouse Suite. Come on in. <laughs> I'm good at this. <laughs> All right, come here. It's, it's nice to be on the You're other me. side. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cover your eyes, cover your eyes. Okay. <laughs> All right, so Ty Pennington. Yes. <laughs> Are you ready for it. your for your own reveal? Yes, yes. <laughs> I am so excited. It smells like an old building already. I love it. <laughs> it's like awesome. a new old building. Yeah, and two years in coming. This okay. way, when you're gonna want no, to like see like those around, so I'm good and busy. <laughs> okay, say when. All right, three, two, one, go. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yes. A bit more boho, and I've got that sort of like sophistication. Yeah. And then, then you're saying I'm not sophisticated. I'm oh, kidding. you would be sophisticated. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I, I agree. I agree. It's definitely. I'm. A, I like to say I'm like modern primitive, right? So yeah. Like, I, I like, like a it. little bit of sort of uh, aged yes. weatheredness to Rusticness. my modern. Yes. Yes. But this is fantastic. I love the texture. Yes. Yeah, sit down. Sit down. So check good. it out. So oh, this yeah. furniture was sent to us. From Castlery. Oh wow! Isn't this awesome? Castlery in Castleberry. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Right? Well done. And look oh, at this is like great. look out the window like oh my gosh yeah. I didn't want to leave. <laughs> and like this is also and I know you're happy when I painted the windows black. You know it. It's yes. Just so good. <laughs> that contrast. Yes. So nice. Uh, and let's talk about the fact that you let me paint the fireplace black. Well, I also I know how much you love black. Black <laughs> is it's beautiful. Let's face it. Yeah. There's just something about having it that it just is. says it's unbelievable. It's the warmth of a home. But yeah. But like, I love it, and I love the 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 way the black just just takes it all the way to the ceiling, and you really yeah. get the feeling how big the space is. I love it. Yeah. I mean, that's just I know it's my trick, but I just love it's seeing a, yeah. it somewhere it's else. So good. It's just so good, and it gives you a yeah. focal point when you come in, and it's just like. You really get that wow moment. Yeah. Um, this is my own little art piece that I painted. I love it. Just adding the greenery. And so it really is quite simple. And it's amazing too, like how a good clean white piece of furniture pops off, not only against the brick wall, but yeah. also against the, the black windows. So nice. Everyone thought that this was original brick. That was the intent. Yeah. Because on the lower floors it is. Yeah. And to do that, we had to find a, a very special way to do it, but I think we pulled it off. I think so. Yeah. I mean, this looks just like the original and it's, it's just yeah. amazing, isn't it? 
I mean, it, it really makes the space. You want the updated modern living yeah. in a very historic looking building. And I think this has accomplished both. I think we did it. Yeah. I mean, I, <laughs> I love it. I love it. And I love the moths too. This is. Yeah, I made those. It's all the rage right now. <laughs> I made those. So. I love it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's cool. It's really, really great. I love it. Was it was a good way of adding some green in because nobody's mm. here. Yeah. So well, I know you always bring in a tree branch. <laughs> you know, it's like, I was yeah. like, oh, it's about to a tree branch. It's like, yeah. like it's my favorite part These of your videos. You're like, dry, I'm just going to drop this gigantic tree branch in. And, but it does. Like it makes the space. <laughs> it pulls the height out of the room. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's her peace <laughs> offering. It's her olive branch. Yeah. <laughs> it's really what Literally. it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, Love it looks it. amazing, I, and I knew it would. Yeah, I'm so excited. Well done. I'm so excited. I think uh, Ty Penning X House of Valentino looks awesome. Yes. <laughs> yes, we're quite the, we're like Cadney and Lacey. We're quite the, quite the duo. I love it. <laughs> but once again, thank you. You guys have been great. Um, love your work. Thank you. I'll keep watching. Great stuff. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I feel like I should be crying, but yeah, we don't have to. We'll, 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 we'll add that in. <laughs> yeah. That's up my makeup. Oh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> No, it's beautiful. Love it. I love the fact that Ty really wanted this space to feel like a representation of the House of Valentina and Ty Pennington. And so I feel like this is it. It's this moment where it's like, yes, we have the black fireplace. And I will be sharing all of the paint colors down in the video show notes. So if you're looking for paint colors, if you're looking for items that we're sharing, everything's going to be down below. So make sure you check that out. But as you can see, I've got a beautiful piece of artwork up here. I really wanted this to feel like the center of the home. We, of course, we had to have the branches. I love the fact that we've got the beautiful branches and it just really creates this sort of mood and ambiance in the space. I love the fact that bringing in a little bit of that olive tree, it really just softens the feeling of this modern space. I've also got the spheres that are down here, which you guys know is a signature House of Valentina item. I love these spheres. I love that sculptural feel. The other thing I've gotten here is I've got some beautiful pieces of furniture and these are from our video sponsor for today and that is Castlery. Castlery has absolutely hooked us up. They have sent us some of the most beautiful pieces of furniture. I have to tell you guys, they make gorgeous, gorgeous furniture. The finishes, the fabrics, it has quickly become one of my go-to sources for furniture and they're still affordable. That's what's so amazing about it. You can order online and there is a vast library that you have access to and the pieces are breathtaking, truly breathtaking. And I'm gonna be sharing with you all the pieces throughout the tour as we go. But today, I'll also be sharing with you the specific ones that are in the living room because they are gorgeous. But I wanna make sure to give them a really big shout out because they have really helped us to create this incredible space. And it's not just this room, it's gonna be throughout the home. And I can't wait to share with you all the pieces. But thank you so much to Castle Re. I'm gonna leave a link for them down below in the show notes because you are going to love the furniture. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I love this chair so much. I put it right here in the corner. That way you can look out the window. You literally see the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in the distance. It's an amazing view from here. And this is one of the castlery pieces. This is the Gable Boucle chair. And you guys know I have a thing for Boucle. I love it so much. It just has such a wonderful texture to it. It's really durable. It's got the really cool wood legs, which really softens that modern look. It's also got the ottoman, so we can really just sit back and relax. And I just adore it. Now, underneath our feet, we've also got the Ventura jute rug, and that's really anchoring this space because when you're creating a seating area, you really want to create this sort of feeling, well, at least I do. I like creating a coziness. I like this feeling that there's a conversation going on. Wow, look at the Dawson sofa. I mean, talk about 
amazing. I love the fabric on this one. I love the arms. I love this sort of really sophisticated modern kind of feel. So when we build the shell of a space, because let's be honest, you're seeing all this space at the moment and we've, we have decided every little detail that's in here, everything from, everything from the loft, the lights, everything that's in here has to be chosen when you're building something from scratch. But it's these finishing details to me that make all those little decisions totally worth it. We've also got the Strato coffee table and I love this piece. The wood finish on it is gorgeous. It's got the black top which tied really nicely into the black fireplace. I've got it loaded up at the moment. I've created these little planters that I have here. I've got these concrete planters. I put some dirt in them and some dried moss and I created these on my own and I just thought that they really just kept it feeling very minimal it keeps it feeling very modern but it also adds a little pop of green right here in the center I just love to create this sort of sense of coziness even when you're living in the city that you really can just get cozy sit by that fire and so these are the little details that I like to add in even when I'm staging a home because let's be honest there's a possibility that all I'd have to do is you know bring my toothbrush <laughs> kind of moved in and I want that feeling that someone has someone really has made this their home and I think that when you take that mentality when you when you come into a new space how is it going to feel and how do you really want to live in it that's the kind of feeling that I'm always after and for me that sort of coziness is so important even in the city maybe even more so in the city one of the things that I think is important in every single home is having some greenery but of course we have a little bit of a challenge because we're staging this home and so I put a faux fig in here and I think it looks pretty real actually. I found this one at Target and it's a really great faux fiddle. I really love the Tate sideboard. This is another one of the Castlery pieces and that beautiful fluting on the front is breathtaking. I love adding these kind of details into a space. It really balances out how minimal we've kept everything. Adding interest is really important. So when we've created this space, adding interest through the pieces of furniture is really important. I've got it loaded up not only with Ty's beautiful art piece, I've got a big bowl to give some substance to this area. That's another Amazon find. Actually, this one is too. This one's made of paper mache and it's got a really beautiful warm texture. And you can see how I'm really balancing shapes and textures and playing a lot with scale by adding these books. It really just gives texture and life and interest to the space. I loved adding in this little marble-based lamp. It's got the brass on it, which really plays off of the art piece where he's got that little bit of gold running through there. And I think low lighting a space just helps it to feel really inviting. It feels really warm and cozy. Well, after a two year journey, this is a very exciting moment for me. When Ty asked me to be his principal designer on the job, I was beyond honored. I, I'm just blown away by this opportunity and I'm just so delighted to be able to watch this building go literally from the ground all the way up. It is just an honor and a delight and I'm so happy that I get to share this moment with each and every one of you. It is just incredible. So thank you so much for watching today's video. We're going to be sharing, there's gonna be an entire playlist, okay? So you wanna make sure you hit subscribe because there's gonna be an entire playlist. So make sure you stay tuned because I'm gonna be giving you a tour of all the rooms you're not going to believe what I've got to share with you. So thank you again for joining us. Cheers, you guys. I'll see you in the next one.